welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkion Wiersma. And like I said in my previous video, I have the feeling that I am back. So let's why not start uh, this uh, new journey, which is not a new journey, but uh, with a quite a, a project. And sometimes uh, things happen, especially when your plans start to speak, sort of speak to you and you notice things and you know you need to change something. Uh, one thing might light, uh, lead into another thing and that is what uh, is uh, going to happen over here for sure. So it's quite a job, but um, yeah, I think it's for the best. I think it's going to work better for the plants and for me and sort of for you guys as well, because filming uh, should be a bit easier here in my uh, uh, orchid room. So uh, without any uh, further explanation, let's start this journey. So it basically started with uh, this plant. Well, actually, this might be a Lara uh, Peggy Root Carpenter. That one, and then this one uh, told me basically the same thing. This orchid should have a beautiful, very fairly long flower spike, the, which it doesn't have, obviously. It only has three blooms on it. The blooms itself has the, do have the size it should have. But the spike is not nearly as long as it could be, plus the bulbs are not as big enough. Um, and that is what also is happening with my uh, Peggy Root Carpenter. And I also think that I can see it here on my Mycea Red, which has new growth and it's growing, but they are not growing as quick as they did last year. Last year I had it yeah, two times in bloom, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure I did. This time I had it in bloom in the beginning of this year as well. Um, it probably should have it in bloom again around this time, but that will not happen. It will uh, probably will bloom, but if I leave it like this, I probably will have a shorter spike for sure as well on these guys. Like on these, like we uh, just dis discussed. So yeah, that is what the plants are telling me. And I always try to look and to find uh, the ability to give my plants the best care that I can give, obviously, and to get the best potential out of the plants. So if those are telling me that they are not happy, I try to find the reason why. So last year they did better, so something changed in there, and it is <laughs> maybe you uh, you already know what changed, but it was uh, it is this rack over here with these plants that wasn't there last year, and it's really in front of the window as you can see even though these have the lights above them the led led lights i have them in my video description if you want to check them but it's not enough for these guys they need more light and i think this rack is blocking more light than i uh, originally thought when i started uh, when i put it up here so i'm going to take it uh, take it uh, out of there get some room again here so that beautiful natural daylight can also the filtered daylight can uh, reach this these plants again and it will should be going up all the way over here it's not as strong over here of course but this one as you can see has an old flower spike did bloom very well and also that one is not growing as quick i think this one did skip blooming last time uh, it does grow new growths here and here but i think if i don't change anything about this situation the lights it will not bloom again and it will start new growths again and that's not what we want of course we want uh, to see those beautiful blooms so yeah i already started a little bit and then i thought i need to grab my camera so it's already a bit messy over here let me turn around so we can see the kitchen and that container where I prepared the water in from the orchids was over here. So basically the only thing that I did is I took it and put it over there and I had some pots uh, just standing there, just some uh, orchid pots. The family offices, uh, the bigger ones were over there. So I just put them in that cabinet there, created some room and I needed a spot for the hose. <laughs> so I just put it there. These LED lamps are broken, sadly, so they can go away. I will clean up the floor. And then I think that I will put this rack uh, aside these guys. Because this is my up area. 
and I will put it back over here where I had it in the start of my channel when I just started growing here in my orchid room and I like the setup it's very easy because I have the kitchen as well behind me so I can grab my stuff I can uh, flush very easily over there plus a big uh, plus for me as well if I stand over here behind the table I can put my um, tripod over there so filming is way easy, easier then because I have way more room now I try to fit in my tripod over there or just in front of the door and it's just not very very easy it's not very convenient let's put it like that so that's a big uh, plus that's not a reason for the change obviously but it's uh, like I said a, a bit of bonus and then I have this sort of empty wall as you can see I did put up a curtain when I started growing here just from the start plus I have this backdrop that is a very nice corner to take pictures of my plants I like to uh, take pictures especially if they if they are first time bloomers just to have some record of uh, how they look uh, for in my uh, for on my computer and I can use it in my videos or on social media or something like that and that's a very nice uh, spot I think I do have a bit of extra light here to make it a bit easier to get good pictures and I could put my plants on this one put that in front of here and something like that or something else but I at least I have a beautiful uh, backdrop for the pictures so that's uh, that's basically it and that's basically uh, the reason why I uh, want to change this all here so I have quite a lot of work to do but I, li I like it and I think uh, I think it will get better so um, I'm going to start to do this job and I will see you uh, afterwards bye bye yeah, a sudden, oh, no, not a sudden but a move can uh, not go without casualties of course so what just happened was my water can broke or my water container and yes I did almost fill it up to the top I just was ready to water my orchids so as you can see the whole floor is wet me and my husband we just dragged it out of the orchid room everything was wet 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 <sighs> but anyhow we keep on smiling <laughs> but yeah it's really broke as you can see there but uh, there's a, there are little wheels and that wheel broke so the water did come out completely well almost completely anyhow let's continue so let's get going again uh, there's something over here that i would like to change as well um, i'm not completely sure if it's going to work but this carnivore plant which i think is beautiful but it's growing uh getting very big <laughs> it has several directions of growth and it's kind of in front of my symbidio orchids and it also will get in front of my uh, Phenoliopsis uh, over here so I thought maybe get this one inside the orchid room and put it basically over here at this corner now we have more room here which I will uh, show better uh, later on in this video but maybe maybe that looks nice did you see that <laughs> odd flower falling while we were talking but anyhow so it may, uh, may look nice here and yeah i have a little bit more room to grow and not be in front of other plants other orchids that need a light as well so uh, i'm going to just going to try it and see how it looks so there she is and she's getting quite some light from that window we just uh, did clear up well actually i did <laughs> uh, but yeah as you can see it's also uh, getting some filtered sunlight which this one uh, one likes it's just next to the ceiling fan <laughs> not touching it luckily so yeah it could be growing here on this spot so far I'm liking it but uh, you never know I just need to try it let's uh, have a look from this side I think it really looks nice and there's still quite a lot of room for me to put up my uh, type uh, tripod and walk in front of it and I have my room here because first I thought putting it here yeah it does get a little bit crowded and it's a bit darker here so i thought as you can see now the sun is coming through that it gets beautiful light over here so that's a beautiful uh, addition i think to the orchid room and those pictures yeah those are laying on the ground 
but those are going over anyways already as you probably can see they start to brown up so that's not the end of the world and she should make uh, quite a lot of more in the near future i think but this one uh, firstly started to uh, really start to grow so uh yeah it's a beautiful plant let's uh, let's keep it here for now and let's see how we uh, we like it over here so just a quick update over here <laughs> it's a little bit messy but you can see we have a lot of more room here so uh and you can probably see that now my subidium is getting way more light it's beautiful it's better for them better for them to uh, to get them to grow and to flower them so yeah i'm happy i really like this it's a little bit messy i would need to work with that but it's always yeah you have some stuff around <laughs> that needs space as well but anyhow the plants here and i can now clearly see my wall again fell wall yeah this is looking better so here we go you guys this is the one of the biggest changes my uh, up potting table was over there and it's now back here and this is how i started it's kind of funny but it's, it really works well i have everything around me i, I like to floss my pots after repotting just to get dust out i have my fertilizers over there so the seaweed watering cans there are all water over here so yeah this is this is a, a very handy setup uh, I have no idea why I changed this back in the days, but I did. And yeah, but this is better. And now I have this black curtain again, freed up with stuff in front of it. So this is very nice to make, take pictures of my plants. And I also like to use this backdrop over here, which has the bricks on them, which I do personally really like. So that's uh, also what I, uh, what I use to uh, make pictures uh, of, uh, of the flowers, especially the flowers, the plants. And I like to use those pictures for my thumbnails, for example. You see them a lot uh, over there. But that means that this area has way more room. So obviously my Miltoniopsis area, that's the door into the greenhouse. And I had my table over here. So I, I was always finding where to put my tripod. If I just needed quickly something out of the house or the greenhouse, I needed to change everything before I could enter the, those doors again. And yeah, this, it feels so much better. Absolutely. So, and then look at this. We have some sunshine. Can you see the shadows over there of the plants? How much more light we have getting into the orchid room again. So yeah, even though it doesn't show up as much on camera, but I can see that also these areas over here are lighter again but especially the ones in front so i can work with that the ones that don't need as much light i could put over here which i did and the other ones over there and the big lady ladies whoops uh look at this filtered sunlight of course but uh, directly on the leaves and i am pretty sure that these are going to grow again way stronger and i can tell it by how, how quickly they uh, will drink their water from the reservoir they did grow grow but not as much as they as they did before so i think i will uh, see some uh, results out of that quickly this has beautiful light on it the conifer plant we just saw and talked about and once again look at the shadows beautiful a very beautiful indication of how strong your light is have a look at your shadows and Earlier this day, I have some footage, I think, but these plants did get even on the floor, also some direct sunlight. So um, if I had the footage, you will see it now, but yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then to think that it started with this one and this one, my Bialara Peggy Root Coppena over there, and this beautiful purple one with a very long name. <laughs> but um, yeah, how beautiful, right? If you, uh, if you start listening to your plants, so I hope next time they will bloom, next new growth will get bigger and the blooms will get, the spikes will get longer again. And also these guys, well, basically everyone, but those two, of course, <laughs> because those are the whole reason of the chains. And what I also did is lowering the lights. I'm not really enjoying this look, but it's better to have your lights uh, closer to your plants. I always had them uh, attached to the ceiling, the shelf, I should say, above them but I did lower them so they're closer to the plants. That should work also better. I did change it over here. 
I did get myself a new container. This one is a little bit smaller, but a bit higher. So this one is uh, very convenient to only uh, use as much space. Now, not too much space, I should say, from the corner. A big uh, pa um, a row of paper over here. Don't ask me where to get this paper. It's a gift, so I have no idea. But it, it's very, uh, very nice stuff. It's very strong and absorbs a lot of water. And then, of course, I need to do something with the hose over here. It's a little bit messy. Not sure how uh, to get it a bit better, but that's the only downside of a hose. For the, for the rest, it's all uh, positive, if you ask me. Oh yeah, and of course, we have here, like we just discussed, my operating table. But I did uh, put some extra light over there. I just need to adjust this one so it's not in, in, in uh, so you don't see it as much. That's a minor thing, so that I will do that. And I can do it with this one, just attach it somewhere. And I did connect it with this lamp. And let me demonstrate you guys the change. If I put on the lights for, for especially the uh, pictures over here and filming over there. So much better light. I hope you can see it here. And lots of room to put my tripod on over here. So yeah. I'm really, uh, really looking forward to do my next apparting to see if everything goes as planned. The only thing that might be getting a bit annoying is the glare and, and the reflections over there. So yeah, you can see my, my waving, but uh, maybe if I can adjust the camera a little bit like this, something. I'm not sure. That's something uh, to work with. I don't, I don't like that. That's annoying. So yeah, we will figure something out. Or maybe I can put something in front of the glasses over here but I like the look so I can see my pots <laughs> it's silly but uh, yeah that I don't mind look at them but but maybe I need to adjust it who knows we shall see so uh, yeah beautiful was a, a bit of a job but as you can see the results are phenomenal this is a, a sort of almost a theme uh, for me, apparently, because I did it uh, almost every year uh, when I was filming my art uh, tutorials as well. Uh, just cleaning up the art studio and uh, get things moving around, try to get things a little bit better. Uh, just first think, what, what do I want? What do I like to have in my room? Like a separate sp a spot to take pictures. Uh, better lighting, all that kind of stuff, and then look if it even is possible. Sometimes it is just not possible, but I like to to like almost like plans. Get the best out of your plans. So uh, be very efficient. Basically, what I'm trying to say about your room. And yeah, losing light. No, that that that's not a great idea. So yeah, I'm happy. And and uh, there were some casualties, but the floor is now very clean. Oh my God, there was a lot of water, you guys. There was a lot of water. So, but anyhow, we just took it out the bucket and into the green uh, greenhouse. And it doesn't matter over there if the floor gets wet because it happens every year. With if we have a lot of rain, especially in fall, uh, not in fall in um, autumn. Sorry, in autumn, <laughs> then we have more rain and the, the floor gets wet anyhow because of the water from outside. But yeah, I cannot wait to start my first uh, repotting over here on my uh, new setup uh, because I'm, I'm not completely sure, but I might introduce my old camera as well. Uh, maybe I can put it on the operating table so I can do better close-ups of what I'm actually doing with the wood, uh, media, operating, etc. Et Not completely sure if it's going to work, but it's something that I have in mind. So if you are interested in that, keep an, uh, keep an eye open. I will address it in, in my first uh, operating video if I'm going to do it or not, if, if, it, if it even is possible. But I have that camera laying around, so uh, why not try to use it? Maybe I can switch between cameras and uh, try to make my videos a little bit better. Maybe. Anyhow, you guys, a uh, nice project. I hope you like this video as well. Uh, I think I covered basically everything. But yeah, but what, what I'm trying to say is that a look at your plans, and especially if you know your plans for several years, it's kind of if they start talking to you or trying to tell you something by uh, how they behave and try to find out uh, what that behavior means. 
and always try to get the best out of your plants like uh, like in life for yourself i think try to be to get the best of, out of you and out of the people around you is is very uh, very beautiful in general anyhow i'm uh, i'm just happy so that's why i'm uh, starting to chat a lot but i'm going to quit now because otherwise this video will be uh, way too long thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't already ha have maybe you want to subscribe to my channel and uh, of course i really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos bye bye